What do you say we ruin some songs forever, huh? Does that sound like fun? <laughs> Today, we're looking at some misheard lyrics that you can never unhear. And it's gonna ruin them forever. All right, why don't we start with an innocent one. Destiny's Child and Bootalicious. I don't know what fish jelly is, but it sounds disgusting. I'm here, I'm hearing, I don't think you're ready for Fitzgerald. Who the hell is Fitzgerald? You know what? What the hell do they say there? Well, we do have science to help us figure this one out. If you're not familiar with it, it's the text-to-speech test. This is where I use a text-to-speech app, and it will tell us what they're saying. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Is that it? <gasps> Holy buffalo ball sacks. <laughs> it is literally, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. What kind? Fish jelly? Jelly jam? <laughs> Song came out in 2002. That was a long time ago and now I finally know what they're saying. Don't really care either. How about Queen? Everyone loves Bohemian Rhapsody. How about I ruin it for all of you? The elder poop has a devil motorcycle? When I hear devil motorcycle, I just, I picture something Rob Halford would drive. Uh, I guess he's an elder poop. Is this talking about Rob Halford? Well, we all know the actual lyrics are Beelzebub, Beelzebub, Bob, Beelzejeff. Has the devil put aside for me? But is this song ruined forever? Let's see what the text to speech says about this one. Says about this one. Beyonce as a devil. I don't think this is ready for fish jelly. <laughs> Beyonce is a devil? <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yes, I'm sure that's what Queen was saying like 20 years before Beyonce was even born. Okay, next up we have Sleeping with Sirens. Say that one with a lift. Sleeping with Sirens. So this is a song from Sleeping with Sirens. The song is called Alone, featuring Mag you really think that's the best place to check? To see if you're alive still? You know what? Can one of you check Kellen Quinn's balls for me? Because judging by his singing, he doesn't have any. I <laughs> like the other guys at the door are like, ah, I'm not letting you in, I ain't checking your balls. Kellen Quinn, you frickin' weirdo. Could you check my balls for me to see if I'm lying? <laughs> okay, well, I'm guessing is could you check my pulse for me? He has a mild case of Dave Mustaine Atosis, who pronounces balls instead of pulse. You try to take his balls. <laughs> You know, I'll never be able to listen to this song same ever again because I'm sick of hearing about Kellen Quinn's balls. But let's give Kellen Quinn's balls the test. The Titus's test. Set my photos nude. Set my photos nude. <laughs> Kellen Quinn's balls? I, I'm sick of talking about Kellen Quinn's balls. I, I mentioned Kellen Quinn's balls who knows how many times. Here's a counter. Balls, 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 balls. How about Coldplay? In uh, Viva La Vida, the song they stole from Joe Satriani. <laughs> wow, Chris Martin. You want to check if someone's afraid and that's the first place you check? Hey, Chris Martin, take a look. Not ass. Hey, Chris Martin, what's your favorite animal? Ass. Well, guess I'll never be able to listen to that song the same ever again. 
Oh right, I don't listen to that song. You guys remember Lil Bow Wow? Yeah, he's not so little anymore. Now he's Bow Wow. And here's a misheard lyric from his song Let's Get Down featuring Baby. A misheard lyric from his song Let's Get Down featuring Baby. Not ready for this fish jelly. <laughs> oh, I was not ready for this fish jelly. <laughs> and he's just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm cool with this. What was he checking off? Is it on his bucket list for this guy to touch? Uh, um, excuse me, sir. While you're at it, can you uh, check Kellen? I'll see if he's still. I'm over it. Before I look up the actual lyrics, I gotta know what the tis test thinks. <laughs> Your peas look bad. Wow. Your peas look bad? <laughs> okay, the actual lyrics are now I am about to test your peas. What the f is that? Test your peas. What the f does that mean? Okay, I just listened to the song with earbuds, and let me tell ya, these earbuds are freaking amazing! Ah! Mm, mm. Sorry. <laughs> I just get excited because I love Raycon because they're the sponsors of this video and they also made my everyday headphones that I've had for probably years at this point. You got tiny eurotosis? No problem. The Raycons come with five interchangeable gel tips to fit any sized audio orifice. And a point that I cannot stress enough, they will never fall out. I don't care if you're jogging or doing a fish impersonation. <laughs> like these freaking things fall out whenever you go like and then they like and Raycons offer eight hours of playtime 32 hours of battery life and they still hold that charge years later I use my Raycons literally every single day heck even to record this video I was setting up listening to music through Bluetooth and you got your one tap to play or pause double tap to skip to next song or triple tap to uh, raise the volume you got all your controls right there and most importantly the sound quality is amazing they sound on par or if not better than other premium audio brands at half the price so if you want a sick pair of earbuds I got you click on my link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash steve t to get 15 percent off your raycon purchase you will not regret it you know what why don't we ruin a country song forever for country fans i don't listen to country so this doesn't bother me this is zach brown band knee deep as we love but i lost it. she got too close so far to now <laughs> That's why Zach Brown can't get a girlfriend. Cause anytime a girl gets too close, he farts. Hello, Zach. I'm too close so far to now. This guy legitimately flat. Do you hear anything else in there besides farted? <laughs> Is that why it's the Zach Brown band? Cause his pants are brown. Just his test. She got too close so far to now. She got too close so far now. Is that it? Did it get right lyrics again? Oh no, it's she got too close so I fought her. Well that's not much better, Zach Brown. So you don't fart when girls approach you, you just beat them up? <sighs> now we're gonna ruin one for me. We're gonna ruin my childhood right now. My favorite band is The Cars. This is their song, Touch and Go. Yeah! Rick Ocasek! That kind of kite just ain't gonna fly. <laughs> the lyrics are supposed to be flying like a cement, cement kite. Rick, pronounce it with me. Cement. Semen. Yeah, Rick Ocasek. That kind of kite just ain't gonna fly. <laughs> the lyrics are supposed to be flying like a cement, cement 
kite. Rick, pronounce it with me. Cement. 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 Here, let me fix it for you. Okay, well, let's test it and see if my childhood really is ruined. He's saying semen, though. He really is. Childhood really is ruined. He's saying semen, though. He really is. You semen. Oh. You semen. He really is. You semen. Oh. All right, next up we got a classic from Jim Croce. And this is You Don't Mess Around With Jim. You don't tug on Superman's <laughs> No, you do not. You don't tug on Superman's <laughs> No. Oh my God, I just figured it out. You don't tug on Superman's cape. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. You don't tug on Superman's cape. Oh, that's a shame. I'm still hearing dick. It's very tug on Superman's cape. Oh, that's a shame. I'm still Okay. You don't tug on Superman's cape. Oh, that's a shame. I'm still hearing dick. It's very odd to hear dick instead of cape. Oh, that's a shame. I'm still hearing dick. It's very odd to hear dick instead of cape. Superman, I love how your dick is flapping in the wind. What? I said I love how your cape is flapping in the wind. This video is just going in some weird directions, man. I, I was picturing the video going like this, and then and now it's just going, Whoa! You know what, though? We got to uh. Or why don't we do another, let's ruin another classic by Simon and Garfunkel, Mrs. Robinson. Simon and Garfunkel. Jesus loves you more. Mrs. Robinson. Simon and Garfunkel. This song a million times, and I've never heard that. Jesus loves you more than you know. <laughs> Jesus never heard that. Jesus loves you more than you know. <laughs> Jesus, the women you will know. Ho ho ho. I mean, I know the actual lyrics are Jesus loves you more than you will know. How do we go from Jesus loves you to she's a slutty woman? Slutty Mormon. Is that a thing? Jesus, Slutty Mormon, you will know. Ho, ho, ho. Sorry. Speaking of ho, 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 we've got a Christmas song. Now, I'm almost embarrassed to admit that I love Christmas music, and we're gonna ruin a Christmas song forever. <laughs> this is a classic one. Brenda Lee, rocking around the Christmas tree. Later. Oh my good lord. She said bye. Oh no. <laughs> not another one. Never again will I listen to the song and not hear bye. Another one. Never again will I listen to the song and not hear bye. <laughs> Don't you listen to the song and not hear bye. <laughs> Don't you just love gathering your family around for a delicious Christmas pie? I've heard this song a million times in my lifetime. Never did I hear ho ho pie until now, and now I can't unhear it. Pie. Yep, it's pie. God damn it. <laughs> Brenda Lee, you slutty mark. Yep, I didn't hear ho ho pie until now, and now I can't unhear it. Pie. Yep, it's pie. God damn it. <laughs> Brenda Lee, you slutty Mormon. I mean, no matter what the test says, this song is still ruined for me. Later we'll have some walking. Really, phone? Later we'll have some walking? How do you have some walking? Is English your first language? And actually, when you cut the music out, all I heard was pumpkin pie. But the song's still ruined. All right, next up we got Will Ferrell featuring Daft Punk and Nile Rodgers. I think a lot of you know where this one's going already. Like the legend of the phoenix. Yeah. The legend of the phoenix. Yeah. 
Farrell, Pharrell, <laughs> gotta watch your pronunciations. Like the legend of the <laughs> Yep, yep, it's penis all right. You've heard the legend of the <laughs> Yep, yep, it's penis all right. You've heard the legend of the penis, right? Are so immature. You guys are probably laughing at this. <laughs> probably laughing at this. <laughs> Let's see if Tinta's test has heard of this legendary <laughs> pecker. Like the legend of the fairness. The legend of the fairness. That's probably the nicest lyric ever, but I definitely heard Phoenix without the music in there. Much more Phoenixy, much less Phoenixy, right? Well, I, that's about all the songs I'm ruining today. You know, I sure did have a blast with you, slug Mormons. Maybe I'll go get some pie and check Kellen Quinn's balls. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> what was that? This ain't Sydney. It's a god ass face. Present. So we've looked at a few misheard lyrics before, but today they're gonna get a little weird. For example, take Cannibal by Kesha. I am Cannibal. I am Catnipple. Ooh! I'm just surprised Kesha is a cat nipple. I always took her to be more of a dog nipple. I mean, the original lyrics are cannibal, and that's kind of what I'm hearing. Cannibal. <laughs> okay, I guess I kind of hear it. Kind of sounds like she's saying can, can, cannonball, too. Cannibal. You know, the thing you yell before you jump into a pool. Cannibal. Ah, oh, I almost ruined things. Okay, I'll stop now. All right, so now they're saying she's saying catnipple, but she says she's saying cannibal. Well, there's only one way to settle this debate. I have a text-to-speech program, and I'm going to use it to see what Kesha is actually saying. We call it the text-to-speech test, or the t -t -s test for short. No, hold on, Kesha, shut the... I don't care what part of the cat you are. This program sucks cat nipples. Right next up, we got the police in their song, Message in a Bottle. Wow, that actually sounded like it. A year has passed since I broke my nose. I broke my nose. Oh, and by the way, how did you break your nose, Sting? When you're changing in your room and doing other private things, I'll be watching you. Give it the test and see if Sting really did break his nose a year ago. A year has passed since I wrote my note. My notes. Yep, my notes. He did not say my nose. And in fact, when the music is cut out, it sounds like the original lyrics. So Sting did not break his nose. But he's gonna if he keeps spying on me in the shower. All right, next up we get. Ah, ah, mm -hmm. ah, Next up, we got Elton John with his song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which is a Beatle cover. A girl with colliders go by. Okay, that was close. That was more like a girl with colitis go by. But that was definitely colitis. A girl with colliders go by. A girl with colitis go by. What the hell? What's the to you, Elton? What does it matter to you if a girl has an inflamed colon? Oh, there goes a girl with an inflamed colon. Not interested. I'd go out with a girl with an inflamed colon. I don't judge. Elton, let's use science to see what he's actually saying. All right. A girl with kaleidoscope eyes. A girl with kaleidoscope by ass. Oh my God. She actually has colitis! Looks like Elton John was singing about girl with colitis. Okay, next 
Next up, we have Mariah Carey with her song, I Stay In Love. Carey with her song, I Stay In Love. What? What? Okay, what are the actual lyrics? That was, that was very clear. It's no wonder Nick Cannon left you. You probably scared him away. Hey Nick, I was thinking we could try something new tonight. Why don't you get the whale costume out of the closet? Okay, here's the actual lyrics. Okay, here's the actual lyrics. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that is much less offensive. Mariah, you had me scared for a moment there, Mariah. What? That's what I'm saying. Don't just sit there like, wow. You know what? I am this close to busting out the whale costume. What is it about pop music that makes me want to stop listening to pop music and do some nut trimmage? That's right. <laughs> Manscaped are the sponsors for this video. They are the leaders in men's below the belt grooming and hygiene. So they have for you the new Lawnmower 4.0. The Lawnmower 4.0 has advanced ceramic blades and advanced skin safe technology. That's gonna give you the trim you want without having to worry about cutting your uh, scrodigular. And it's cordless and waterproof. So you can even shave in the river, no one would even know. What is that guy doing? Oh, he must be shaving with the lawnmower 4.0. Oh, you mean the one with the super cool USB charging dock that CVT absolutely loves? Yes. And it has 90 minutes of battery power per charge. And if you press the on and off button three times quick, it enters the travel lock mode, which prevents it from accidentally turning on while in your bag and draining the battery and buzzing awkwardly. I forgot to turn on the travel lock. So to get your own lawnmower 4.0, your lady wants you to, <laughs> follow the link in my description and use my promo code TERRYBERRY to get 20% off your own lawnmower 4.0 with free international shipping. And as always, your balls will thank you. All right, next up we have REM, Losing My Religion. This is a well-known misheard lyric. That's me. Ironically, they cut to the fountain when he said that. Um, let's pee in the fountain. Is Are you guys literally hearing let's pee in the corner? That's me in the corner. That was clearly that's me in the corner. As much as I would like for it to be let's pee in the corner, it's just not. And besides, Michael Stipe already peed on his forehead. Check out that piss unibrow. He's All right, did Michael Stipe pee in the corner? Let's find out. Tits test. That's me in the corner. That's me in the corner. There it is. As I told you guys, you guys are on a little bit of cracky McSalad if you think that's Let's Pee in the Corner. I gotta go take a leak. I'll be right in the corner. Oh, Michael Stipe was really onto something. This is great. All right, next up we have Van Halen. Panama. Agree. Got to get that uh, padded bra for your uh, cat nipples there. <clears throat> but are you guys really hearing padded bra? Okay, I definitely heard padded bra that time. Wow, I'm not gonna be able to unhear that now. Well, that's just great. Thanks. Let's do the tits test. Yeah, it has no clue. Maybe that's because this is live and it sounds like <laughs> Yeah, that sound quality is ass. All right, next up we got Maroon 5 in their song Sugar. <laughs> wow! That was good actually. Let's listen. I know that's. All right, next up we got Maroon 5 in their song Sugar. That was good, actually. Let's listen. I have never.
ever heard that sentence said more seductively? I'm soaked in whiskey. Well, there's a line to try if your uh, significant other tries to leave you. Uh, if you leave, I'm gonna soak myself in my own urine. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, I'll stay. All right, if Adam Levine is without you, is he soaked in wee? There's only one way to find out. You feel his pants if you see him. Let me know. <laughs> if Adam Levine is without you, is he soaked in wee? There's only one way to find out. Then? Then? Then wasn't even in the sentence. I mean, oh. You know, this thing is getting lazier and lazier. I hear phones like adapt to your personality. But I'm without you, uh, I'm so yeah. Right, next up we got Fallout Boy. Mr. But this song is, this ain't a scene, it's an arms race. I think that's it. Their titles are ridiculous. What was that? This ain't Sydney, it's a god ass face? This ain't Sydney, it's a god ass face. Like, freaking pronounce your words, bro. Like, you're allowed to close your mouth to enunciate. You're just like, 